The recent tariff increases for electricity by the national regulator of 9.61%. How does that impact driving an EV like the Audi e-tron GT? I'm in the Audi e-tron GT and this thing is blisteringly fast. You get to 100 so quickly, like 0 to 100 in 3.3 seconds or something, which is the fastest EV I've been in in South Africa barring the Tesla but nonetheless this is a 95 kilowatt hour battery in the car with uh, electric motors full electric battery electric um, and the recent tariff increases for electricity by the national regulator of 9.61 percent how does that impact driving an EV like the Audi e-tron GT at a 95 kilowatt hour battery if you think about it at 2 rand 30 pre the 2.61 percent increase at, at 2 rand 30 you're looking at roughly around 220 rand to uh, to fill the audi e-tron gt from zero to full now nobody drives an every zero uh, full to zero but anyway 220 rand at 9.61 percent that's about a 22 cent increase per kilowatt hour and if you multiply that out in terms of the car's battery capacity um, it takes you to about 20 rand extra to fill the Audi e-tron GT from zero to full now compare that with fossil fuels back in April 2021 fossil fuels 95 unleaded octane cost roughly 17 rand 30 or thereabout whereas in April 2022 it's just under 22 rand that is a 4 Rand 60 or thereabout increase in the price per liter of fuel which costs roughly around 250 Rand to fill the average car additional from last year April to this year April now it's therefore a no-brainer that EVs or electric cars are much more efficient and cost-effective to run this car has lower maintenance you don't have to service oils, replace oils, and the cost, everyday cost of running the car is even cheaper. And that doesn't only go for the Audi e-tron GT. This is a beautiful car. It has this amazing hum about it when, you, when you're standing still. I'm pretty sure the hum is there when you're driving as well. But it's got this amazing hum that is almost futuristic. But that being said, e electric cars are the future not only because it's good for the environment but because it's just cost effective if you take the long-term cost of an EV and you present value that long-term cost it is cheaper to run an EV